Hey everybody, well today I wanted to share a couple of dupes with you as well as a terrific gift that I received. So the first dupe that I want to share with you is for my Bioderma Craline H2O. Now this is 250 mils and it retails for $27. I initially heard about it from Lisa Eldridge and I absolutely love the product. However, it is a little hard to get a hold of. The only place that I've been able to purchase it from is Amazon, so of course then I have shipping charges. But it's definitely never disappointed me. It takes off all of my eye makeup and it never stings my eyes. However, I have heard from a few people that they don't feel that it works as well for waterproof mascara, but that hasn't been an issue for me. So over the past year, as I've talked about this product, a lot of people have suggested that I try the Vichy 3-in-1 cleanser. And I did go out and purchase it. This is definitely more readily available. It's 200 mils and it retails for $16. And it's available pretty much in any drugstore or discount chain, Walmart, Walgreens, and of course it's also available online. So initially I have to say it is definitely a good dupe. It does do the same end result. It does take off all of my eye makeup. But that's just about where it stops there for me. I still like the Bioderma much better and I'll tell you why. This has 10 ingredients in it and this has 11 ingredients in it. So they do share two ingredients together, mainly water and disodium EDTA, which is a penetration enhancer, but it really stops there. Let me tell you basically first what's in the Bioderma and then I'll tell you what's in the Vichy. The Bioderma is mainly water, humectants, cucumber, sugar alcohols, and then of course the penetration enhancers. Now the main ingredients in the Vichy are water, fragrance, cleanser, disinfectants, and fragrance again. Yep, two separate fragrances plus that infamous word fragrance right at the end that we see in a lot of our products which tells us that there are fragrance in it but it really doesn't identify what the fragrance is. So similar amount of ingredients in each one of them basically do the same. I didn't have any stinging from this. It did take my eye makeup off and it is definitely a lot cheaper but I'm not sure that it's really that big of a difference that it would stop me from using this but if this is not available to you and you are looking for a readily available dupe this definitely is fine. The next dupe that I want to share with you is from Cosmetic Skin Solution. It's the Vitamin C 20 AOX. This is one fluid ounce. It sells for $30. And the SkinCeuticals one fluid ounce retails or sells for about $93. I can't tell you guys enough how much I feel that these are really pretty much identical products. Now I have done a lot of research in the past year trying to read up on the company, uh, trying to find any kind of negative response from consumers that have used it and I have not found one. Pretty much everyone that I've spoken with, including people that have commented on my videos, have used this dupe and have had no problem with it whatsoever and have had ma amazing results in their skin. Now originally I was using one of their other products that had only the 15% of vitamin C and because I had been using it for quite a while and my skin had really adapted well to it, I decided to bump it up and that's why I went for the vitamin C 20. So in addition to having the vitamin C, the 20% vitamin C, it also has the hyaluronic acid and the furelic acid. So this has been an amazing product for me. I've been using it for about a week, a week and a half, and I've seen a lot of reviews where people say I've really started to see a difference in my skin, and I always sort of hesitating to say that to anyone because I feel is that really enough time but I really think it's made a difference in my skin I really think this is an amazing product now recently I was contacted by a subby and I want to look down so I make sure that I get the uh, right name her name is VI actually I put it down here because I'm not sure I'll pronounce it correctly it's Visher Landing I think um, and she actually took the product, she uses the product, and she took it to her school laboratory and she did a pH balance test on this and the SkinCeuticals. And she reported back to me that SkinCeuticals pH was 3 and this was 2.8. So very, very similar. A, a slight difference definitely in the cosmetic skin solution, but really I don't think enough to make a difference. What is a huge difference is the price. $30 for one fluid ounce, and no, I'm not being paid by the company, and $93 for SkinCeuticals. In my book, this definitely wins hands down. Now, this week I came into my office, and I found a fabulous little package waiting for me from my good friend Giada, Nautical But Nice One. And the first thing I want to share with you is this little bag that it came in. It's really cool, and it had these great little products in it. I have been listening to her speak about Kiko and Kiko products for pretty much the better part of the year and I now have a couple of products to try and they're as fabulous as she says they are. So she sent me two eyeshadows. The first one is number 131 and that's the color. And these are so pigmented it's unbelievable. You just need the tiniest, tiniest amount 
and it just works out and blends out so beautifully. Absolutely love it. And she sent me a matching color to it. I'm actually wearing it today, but it's sort of the end of the day for me. I put on really early this morning. I can still see it. I'm not sure if you'll be able to. Um, it's number 122. Isn't that beautiful? Love these colors. Swatch it for you right next to it. So that's the darker that I used in my contour and that I used all over my lid. And then she sent me this fabulous eyeliner pencil. It's their Long Lasting Stick Eyeshadow. It's a number 05. I'm going to hold it like this so hopefully you can see. Let's see if I can put it right next to... so you can sort of see everything together. That's the eyeshadow pencil. And it has just a little tiny bit of shimmer to it, but very, very faint. It's really, really pretty. What I did is I put the pencil all over my eye, and then I used the shadows on top of it. And as I said, it lasted the whole day. They're absolutely gorgeous. Also included in the package were like three samples, actually products I haven't had a chance to read up on yet, but I will. And a fabulous Kiko nail lacquer. Look at that color. I'm going to get my toenails done next week, and this is definitely going on. I think it's com color number one. I'm not really sure. Let me see if that will focus. There's a little number right down here in the corner, and that's really the only um, name that I can see on it, but an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous red shade. Cannot wait to try that out. And the last thing that was included in my gift package is this cream. It's called, I think, Biofin. I'll show it to you that way. And I did a little bit of research on it, and I believe what it's primarily used and what I've been using it for is to, uh, to be used after you have a sunburn or any kind of chemical treatment done. So you know that I had a chemical peel done quite a few weeks ago, so I'm going to keep this around for when I have my next one, and it's supposed to be really great for calming the redness in your skin after you have a treatment, and of course after a sunburn, but no sunburn for me. You know me and my SPF. So a big thank you to Giada for my gift. I absolutely love everything that you've sent to me. And guys, if you have not checked out her channel, please do. I'll put a link to it down below. Thanks again, sweetheart. I loved everything. And that's it for me today. And as far as the dupe goes, there's one nay and one yay. The nay for me is a Vichy 3-in-1. And the big yay for me is the Cosmetic Skin Solution, the Vitamin C 20, the AOX. Hope everybody has a great weekend plan. Take care. Speak to you soon.